in this pre-cracked model this end is fixed and this end is pulled up due to that this peak pre-crack propagates we are interested to know what's the force displacement response and want to plot them in a force displacement curve you have to set the model up to request for this force displacement information the key is to instead of pulling the whole edge you are going to pull a reference point and somehow make sure that particular reference point is representing the whole edge to define the reference point we'll go to tool reference point and select the middle point and to make sure this reference point represents this whole edge we will go to constraints and then select a, this coupling constraint it says select the control point so our control point is this reference point um, done and then select the uh, constraint region so we will select this particular surface and then if we uh, accept the default that would mean this point reference point is uh, coupled to this particular edge in all degrees of freedom so whatever happens to this reference point uh, the same thing happens to the whole edge so now we are in a position that we can pull this reference point and do the simulation and in history output we can ask what are the displacement and force associated to this reference point and uh, to ask for that we have to create a set so you, we will create a set of this reference point so if you say ref p reference point and the set is belonging to this reference point then we will make sure in field output request we have ticked this translation rotation u and we have ticked this reaction force and moment rf and now we can make the history output and uh, request for the force and displacement curve in this reference point so in the in, pla in place of whole model we will select set and we remember we have named this point to be ref p and then we will go to displacement u and uh, this is y direction displacement represented by u2 and to find force we will go to forces reaction force and rf2 the reaction force in second direction next we will apply the boundary condition this edge is fixed and we will pull the reference point by a displacement of one millimeter in this example you can see that we have many many points in this force displacement curve that's why this curve is quite smooth to achieve this smoothness we have to tweak with the step so in step we have to make sure that in incrementation we have given the increment size initial and the maximum relatively low as the simulation runtime is one if we give incrementation to be size of one so there is a possibility the whole displacement is applied in one step that means you get only one point by making sure that your initial incrementation is small and your maximum incrementation is also small uh, you can expect uh, something uh, between 10 to 100 points if you have this setting uh, instead if I have a setting of 0 0.01 and maximum also 0 0.01 then this one second period will be divided into 100 uh, distinct point so 
after the simulation when we asked for the force displacement curve we will have exactly 100 points in that force displacement curve moreover actually we have more information related to that in history output it says the frequency of recording this uh, uh, responses uh, is in every increment and every n increment when n is equal to 1 that means every increment so in this case we will have a force displacement uh, point at 100 places so we will have quite a smooth curve of force displacement now I will run this simulation and show you the results the simulation is now complete let's go and check the results So this is the simulation result and to get the force and displacement we have to go to the job uh, by the name that yeah, we have run so in the result under this job now in history output you will find these two results that we requested under history output RF2 that means reaction force in the y direction and U2 which is the displacement in y direction so now in these two we can plot simply to see so this is the force response but in x axis we have time similarly for the displacement so these two are now separated now we will go ahead and couple them with these results accept default and then we have the saved result here to combine them we will go and operate on xy data continue and then combine in x-axis we have u2 so we'll in insert that first double click and then in y-axis is reaction force 2 so double click that now we can plot this expression so here we have the force and displacement curve we can even go ahead and save this data into a text file to do that go to report xy and then go to setup here you can give any name dot txt apply so there will be a file by this name in the directory uh, where you have this part here you can see the xy data in x-axis the displacement in y-axis the forces